Hello, hello, welcome back. Today I'll be watching Stranger Things Season 3, Episode 3, already. If you like it, make sure to like and subscribe. If you can't wait for next episodes, on Patreon I post everything two weeks ahead. Full-length reactions, edit reactions. If you cannot wait, go make sure to check out Patreon. Alright, let's go. I love these girls bonding. Right. <laughs> oh no, they're gonna listen in. She's actually gonna see their faces. Girl. This is insane. Max. Yeah, quiet, I'm sorry. Privacy is not existent with her. I would not date her. <laughs> it's a totally different species. They say we are species. What? How dare they? I broke up with you, so you would try to get me back and treat me better. I am logic. <laughs> boys will be boys and girls will be girls. Ew, farts. <laughs> hey, when I say three inches. Three. Oh, hey. He must be confused. Is that okay? Is this better? You happy? He's happy about this at least. Billy. This is a very stranger thingsy spin the bottle. This is gonna be awful though. How is she gonna tell this to Max? And also, what are they gonna do? Hopper is super drunk. Oh my god. <gasps> what is it? What happened? Oh my god, I'm so like overwhelmed that I want to start crying and angry and goosebumps and everything at the same time. Please address me by my full name. What? My full name! <laughs> is this an intervention? Okay. Three of girls. He's so sick of them girls. Is it early, Michael? Go back to the villagers crying for your help. <laughs> This is the coolest intervention ever. Stop talking about girls. But then in the D&D version, just watch. <laughs> Perfectly normal behavior. Why are all these men that suddenly losing their mind with So I went for Scott. Scott. Oh, you were Scott. <laughs> You've outdone yourself, Joyce. You really have. He's rightfully pissed. I'd be pissed too. This is so silly, but sad because you get them both. Just, she just keeps going. You can't have some nerves, right? Ditching somebody on a date and then just stealing their stuff <laughs> in front of them. It's happy screams. What is happy screams? It's like, I'm just gonna lend you my mom's Cosmo. Yeah, this is for next season when you're a bit older. Happy screams. <laughs> I don't know. Blood on a cabinet from working out. Billy's on his period now. <laughs> Blackburn Supply, Hawkins Farming, they all had some supplies go missing all in the past few days. They're not gonna be positive about this. But you've got proof! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fellas, you gotta admit it's a hell of a headline, right? People like this just suck the energy out of you, right? I feel like if you spend a week with them, you hate life. Bigger than one article. In fact, I think this has got to be a book. The Mysterious Case of the Missing Fertilizer. <laughs> Hey, whatever. <laughs> and they think they're funny too. Bye bye, Nancy Drew. Hey, it's okay. Nancy, Nancy. Yeah, that's so deflating. At least they could be like positive in her face and scratch it behind her back, right? Or like look further, or I don't know, but like just the demeaning. I'd like to try the peanut butter chocolate swirl, please. No. I liked her so much until all the ice cream testing. <laughs> Not smiling. 
Steve has gone through so much right evolution from season one to now. I'm rooting for him. Look at this boy. Yeah, so what happens with you then, Steve? Why are you still looking through binoculars at girls? <laughs> A horde of juju zombies! Okay, I attack with my flail. Whoosh, you miss! Oh, he's so not there. No, it's a distraction, a trap. Do not answer it. He keeps on going. Uh, no! L? No, sorry, not interested. This is so painful. I feel like Will went through so much and now it's this. Fine, you guys win. Congratulations. Yeah, you guys have been bad friends. We'll just call the girls afterwards. I said forget it, Mike, okay? I'm going home. Fair enough. It's been a long time of him just following them around. You guys are never in the mood anymore. You're ruining our party. That's not true. Really? Where's Dustin right now? There is some kind of evolution, right? I mean, what did you think? That we were never going to get girlfriends? That we are just going to sit in my basement all day and play games for the rest of our lives? But there is a middle ground. Yes, I, I did. I really did. So sad. Like, I get Mike's point, and that's all true. But there's a middle ground there, and the fully being swallowed by the girlfriend. But I think, isn't that just like that first love where it's just not a healthy balance, and that just comes a bit with getting older? That would be cool. She should immediately go work for the police. Honestly, if you can find missing people from a picture, go find all those missing kids now. Oh, you also need to be brave as hell doing this all the time because you only see scary stuff, it seems. Ugh. Oh. Oh, that's dark. What happened? Elle! <gasps> Hello! This is such a bad look on her, right? He's gonna be like, look, we're here. You can see nothing is here. Oh, and the trauma. Bobby. <laughs> Bob the brain. You okay? I'm fine. So hard. Because for us, I don't know, you see the show and you get this new info and it's all cool and dandy, but for these people, they have lost someone, right? That they really, really liked for a long time and they lost them in such a traumatizing way that for us, it's hard to imagine what it must be like going through that. And I think as well that if... <laughs> He's not smiling and he's big and blonde. Like, if your kid goes through all these things, I would also be paranoid all the time about everything. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Steve. Oh, so 15 minutes before 9, 8.45. Ah! My god. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Careful, it might have rabies. I don't know what I would do. I really wonder if I would go back. I'd really be like, you guys all suck. A rubber rat? No, the real one. And then release it in that guy's underwear. <laughs> also, yeah, I don't know. I get being scared for being fired, but from this job, I don't know. There's other jobs in the world. <laughs> I watched them do it, Joyce. No! Oh. It's over. Maybe there's another lamp. You know, the other day I almost shot Betsy Payne's dog. I swear to God, I thought it was one of those things. See, they all carry it with them. It is important to me that you feel safe, that you and your family feel safe. I want you to feel like this can still be your home. Oh my God, <laughs> so sweet. You didn't think I'd find out about that? He said he's fixing up your house to put it on the market. Oh, he's trying to go. The kids know yet? I get that. You want to leave that 
place that done so much harm and pain to you. But you have something that I never had. You have people that know you've been through. You have people that care about you right here in Hawkins. Scott Clark. <laughs> Don't push his buttons. That's a joke. <laughs> He loves her so much, right? He loves her so much. She can get away with anything at this point. Can't wait for them to just be together. Like, is there anything better than him saying, I want you to feel safe? <laughs> Wouldn't expect him to be here. Of all places, isn't he scared? Was this the first scene of the show? I don't remember, but like, it is from the first episode. All the Ghostbusters. No. No, don't do that. Oh, man. I do think in general it might be easier for girl friendships to withstand getting boyfriends because, I don't know, you all talk about it all the time and you hang out and you tell everybody everything and all of that. But I think for boys who are like a close friend group, it's really like ruining it for the friend group in a sense, which it shouldn't have. I've heard that from guys as well. When the first people get a girlfriend, it's like, Ew. I think that's really part of growing up. Oh, now you go in basements, in empty houses. Ah, what the fuck? I like, why are we still inside? <laughs> that little hammer is not gonna do anything. Oh my god. This is Driscoll. Oh my god. <gasps> Let me check it out. No, I'm still looking. Let me see it. Hang on. Great. Great. Very professional kids. <laughs> oh. Oh. You hear me? Hear me? Oh my god. Oh. bad i really think that at that moment you wish you were wrong and then you get the confirmation that something is going on and you're just like oh, not again heather this is my sister maxine and i'm sorry i did not quite catch your name oh he has crazy eyes heather wasn't feeling so hot today so we thought we'd take the day off to nurse her back to health like she felt very hot because he put her in ice but you're feeling just fine right now aren't you heather i'm feeling so much better do you girls want a cookie? They're fresh out of the oven. Yikes, that was awkward. Oh no. Them knowing is gonna set him off. so dark especially with like the happy music <laughs> mm. oh, i feel like what is different from previous seasons is that you don't trust people now i feel like before it was more the monsters and the unknown upside down like there was this magical twisty weird world going on and that in its own was really scary but now i feel like i'm way more scared of billy and that he's just moving around in the world and then the thing with heather and then it's more like within society within the, i don't know how to explain it very well but and then the whole situation with the russians i wonder how that's gonna connect to it right are they building something let's take all of that how is hopper doing oh connection with the red lady and the show is so good isn't it <laughs> i feel like that every episode i'm just like what is going on ah i feel like the show is just a long roller coaster where you're sitting on like and just experiencing it but yeah you cannot guess anything you cannot make good assumptions because it's so like all over the place all the time and then of course again with the emotions of the kids growing up and the dynamics of like boyfriends girlfriends and 
the time that that thinks and the influence on friendships and all of that. <sighs> the one thing that I still struggle with, because in the beginning we had Steve and Nancy, and Steve was a jerk. So we all were rooting for Jonathan, but I kind of have to admit that in a sense, I also would like Steve and Nancy to be together, but I don't think that is ever going to happen because she's super happy with Jonathan and I feel like he's building that relationship now with his co-worker, but still I'm kind of like... That's the one thing where I think they maybe have changed the way they wanted Steve to be in the show from the beginning, but then again, it's also not like it really matters. <laughs> the cross scheme of this show anyway uh hopper i'm rooting for you boy uh with love and everything as well but i feel like that's gonna happen this season it's clear enough now there's nobody else on both sides and it's clear that he's like opening up on how he feels and yeah that cannot keep going for a long ass time because i don't know then it would just start hurting and then they would even break the friendship i guess because if one person feels so strongly about the other and the other doesn't reciprocate. Although I do think now it's clear that the focus will be on something else and that actually is something going on. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Full reactions and edited reactions you can find always on Patreon ahead of YouTube. At least two weeks if you can't wait for the next episodes. Make sure to go and check out Patreon. I wish you a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!